Welcome to this episode of PCB Repair. In this episode we're going to fix an Atari Centipede that has incorrect sprite colors but correct tile colors. Hope you enjoy it! So this PCB had a couple issues. Number one it was missing a crystal, number two it was missing pokey, and number three it was missing the video ROMs. Those were easy to fix. We just put in a new crystal, new video ROMs, and a new pokey. Um, and then when I booted, everything worked except for this. And it's hard to see here, but if you notice, the shooter is white with green eyes, his shots are green, and the spider is all basically one color. What it should look like is this. You'll notice the shooter is white with red eyes, his shots are red, and the spider is uh, green with red eyes also. So basically, what we have is that the color red seems to be replaced with green. But that's only on the sprites. If you notice, and it, it, again, it's hard to tell here based on the colors, but the scores, that's actually red, and they are correct. They are red. And the outlines on the tiles, the mushrooms, are red. So we have a color problem that is only affecting the sprites and not the tiles. So that's going to give us some very specific information to narrow down the problem when we look at the schematics. So here are the schematics for the video output circuitry. Over here we have where the colors are actually turned into electronic signals and sent to the monitor. Over here we have the color prom, but if you'll notice, all this stuff is actually common to both the video, the sprites, the motion sprites, as well as the tiles. So none of this is going to be the problem. This chip here and this chip here receive signals from the video sprites area as we'll see when we, we see the motion sprite area in more specifics. So either of these could actually be the problem. So we'll, we'll keep them on our list of things to look at, maybe, if we don't find the problem. So besides those two chips in the final part of the video output circuit, here is the motion object circuitry. And you can see there's not many chips here. There is, there looks like to be 11 separate chips into this circuit. Now we have two RAMs, which are always a likely failure. We have LS163 counters, which are also very likely a failure. We have 74S74s, which are often a failure. So what I started doing is probing E9 here and working back to the RAMs just to make sure the signals look good. And initially I actually thought I was getting a bad signal, but I wasn't. And I remember having a problem like this before on another board. So I went to take a look at my notes, which you can find here. And what I found is on one of the boards I repaired previously, specifically game board number 38 on that web page, I had a similar problem before where all the colors, where all the sprites, the motion sprites were just a single color. Problem was slightly different, but uh, motion sprites only, and they were a single color. And I found that the problem was a 74, a bad 74LS174 right here on the schematics. So I took my HP 1529A and I put my 74LS174 checker um, module in and I started with D6 and I immediately found there was a bad pin number 10 on D6. Replace that and the problem went away. Everything was fixed. So it ended up also the high score save circuit didn't work but after checking the voltage regulators those are fine and then I checked um, pin 14 on the EA ROM 
which should be negative 28 volts, but it was only negative 14. That's provided by a 555 at 811. And I noticed it wasn't even there. So I put that in, and then the high score serve saves worked also. So that's it. Thanks.